Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to prepare the motor that actually powers the conveyor belt in Smarta to be controlled by the Arduino. And as you can see, well, so let me sh first show you where it came from. Um, this comes in the Tamiya uh, tracked vehicle kit that, you know, hey, they use this to build toys, but the, the track here makes a really good conveyor belt for our purposes to dispense, you know, raisins or whatever fruit that you want to use with your Smarta. Um, and actually, we're going to use the setup kind of like what's here. Uh, we're actually not going to use the board that came with this, that the wooden board. We're not going to use the switch or the battery pack or any of that. But we are going to use the gears, the motor, the track, and these uh, wheels that it, that it attaches to. So we'll go through all those steps. Don't worry about that. But what we're doing today is actually you can see it on the diagram here. We're going to connect this little wire to the, the two little wires actually to the motor just so that we can connect it to our Arduino and test out that we can actually make the motor move. Um, and this is a good sanity check just to make sure you've programmed everything correctly and installed all the right software. So this is how it comes, the motor, inside that box. It, it's in a bag with a bunch of gears and stuff and with a piece of wire. So just take the motor out and the wire out and set the rest aside. What we want to do is cut this wire in half because we need two small pieces, not one big piece, and strip off both ends of each of, the, of each of these pieces of wire so that you have some bare metal. Okay, so, so I'm just going to strip off the ends here just like what I've done there. Like so. Okay, so we have the two ends of the first wire off. Just go ahead and strip the ends of the second wire. We just need a little bit of metal there to uh, connect. You can see as I have here just a little bit of wire. Just go ahead and do that on both ends of both wires. It can be a little, a little finicky. Okay, now that we have both of the wires um, with the, the ends stripped like this, um, it's it's going to help you out a lot if you just give them a little twist. And I mean, honestly, if you've ever soldered anything before, probably this part is going to be really self-explanatory to you. If you haven't, you know, here's a few tips. Twist the wire a little bit so that it, the, the individual strands stay together. Um, and here's what we're going to do. We're going to put these one end of each of these wires through these little uh, metal tabs on the motor. These tabs are actually super fragile, and if they break off, that's it for this motor. You'll have to get a new motor. So be really careful with those, okay? So uh, we're going to thread it through, kind of like we're threading um, through a needle, sort of. Can be a little little finicky, but just kind of put it through like that, and then we're going to bend it over and kind of create like a little U shape and just twist it on there, so it just kind of stays put temporarily. We just don't want it falling out while we while we attach it permanently. So just kind of create like a little U shape, like what I've got going on there, and you'll see the wire just kind of hanging there. Do the same thing on both sides. Again, give the wire a little twist so it stays together, and then thread it through and then bend it over in a little U-shape just to make it stay put. Okay, so now we're ready to solder it on. Okay, and this is gonna, you're gonna wanna solder it on. You wouldn't wanna leave it like this, even though this would probably work for a little while, because, um, you know, Smarter is gonna be carried around, you're gonna be using it with your animals, and if it gets sh shaken too much, you know, these could come disconnected. So we wanna solder these on so they stay permanently and they make a good connection with the motor. So, don't need to do anything fancy here, uh, just any old, soldering iron. You can get one for about 10 bucks if you don't have one. A little bit of solder like this. Um, we're going to press down on both the wire and the tab so they both get really hot. And then we're going to touch the solder to them once they're hot. Obviously you don't want to melt the plastic, so be kind of quick about it, just like I've done there. See that little, little blob of solder? Touch the wire and the tab, get them hot, and then put a little blob of solder. No, that one didn't quite take. And then release. And in just a moment, you should see that you know these are well well attached. They're not going anywhere if you give them a little wiggle like this. Okay. All right. That's it for that. Step.